All right, so now if we're talking about gentle leaders, uh, one of the first things um, that I always discuss with folks is what we call home base. So anytime you pick up your gentle leader, you know, you take it off the hook where you store it with your dog's leash, you want to hold it in home base, which is the two clips off to the side, just like this. And then you want to make sure you pull the nose loop through the metal middle piece. And this is now how your dog's nose would go in here, your leash would clip under here, and these two buckle straps will clip behind your dog's ears. You know, occasionally I see folks who, you know, they put it on their dog and they try to put the dog's nose through like this, and while they might be able to get it on, it unfortunately is, is not gonna be effective in the way that a gentle leader should be. So again, home base is always clips off to the side, pull the nose loop through the metal uh, in the middle, dog's nose goes through here, leash here, and clips behind the ears. So when I'm fitting a gentle leader for the first time on my dog, once it's fitted, it should fit your dog and you can just leave it at that size. Again, I hold off to the side. I want to make the, sure the nose loop is as loose as it possibly can go and the behind the head straps are also pretty loose. So I home base, clips to the side, pull through the middle, put a little treat in my fingers, let the dog nibble it as I just gently rest the nose band on. I then buckle behind the ears. Oops. This one's still a little tight for my friend here. Now the first strap I adjust on this is the behind the ears strap. Now what I want to do is make sure this is up nice and snug behind the dog's ears and I want to tighten it to where I can just easily get one or two fingers on. This behind the ear strap is the one we want to be snug so that it doesn't risk sliding down and so that it helps the um, generator to stay in place. Now, once that's fitted, now we'll adjust our little nose band, which we want so that it has enough flexibility and, and openness that your dog feels comfortable, you know, chewing on a treat, uh, getting a drink of water, you know, we don't want it tight like, you know, it's restricting the dog's ability to open their mouth and pant. Um, you know, but we want it just enough so that the dog, you know, it wouldn't, you know, be so loose that it falls off the dog's nose. So on my little friend here, I'm just going to tighten this just slightly. Excuse me. I not, I lock this little piece in place. And now we have a nicely fitted gentle leaner. Now when I put my leash on, the leash is going to go on this under the chin ring. And now again, just for safety, I always like to have a backup link. So in this case, I'm going to take a carabiner. I'm going to put that carabiner onto my leash so that now I actually have a leash with two clips. My leash clip still goes on my gentle leader ring and my carabiner gets attached to my dog's collar. In this case, I have a martingale no fail collar on this guy and now that way if heaven forbid my dog were to get out of the gentle leader or the gentle leader clip should break I still have my dog on leash and attached uh, via their collar. <laughs>